Welcome to The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. And I'm like, yep, I'm done. I went. Oh $10. no, I absolutely did that. So <laughs> I'm sitting there and I'm seven hundred dollars up. I'm like, this is. I have never done this before. I'm never a winner. And so I was so excited. I'm Snapchatting everybody. Well, you, you know, the yeah. gang and yeah. and Julian. I'm like, I'm winning. And then we're sitting there having some drinks and we're telling stories. I'm just hitting the five dollar <laughs> button, all cocky, like I'm going to get another jackpot. And then all of a sudden, it just the machine Down. just stopped. And then I looked over at my, after we were talking. She's telling me we're gossiping and we're talking and you know just having a grand old time I'm having my old fashioned she's drinking her wine and I look over and it only says 340 <laughs> I went from like seven something to 340 I'm like okay I'm only gonna go to 300 uh, and then it was like then I won a little bit and then I want to listen this is yeah. why I don't gamble because mm-hmm. I'm addicted yeah I'm addicted to that next like could I you know yeah and then I was almost in tears when it said like 120 I'm yeah. like I just lost 600 and I for something the lady next to me not anyone that I knew. The lady next to me was playing twenty dollars. Oh my gosh, twenty dollars a spin. Oh my, I could and, never. You know, and she was brave. So we were in Cincinnati. So and it was a, it's a clean, nice, beautiful area in where the casino is. But she was holding her cash that she kept winning in her hand. So she would put a hundred in, click, click, click. There was only what that was right. only five, five times. Spins. Yeah, another hundred in. But she was winning a lot. Really, I think the tech or I don't know what they're called had to come over four times in the few oh, hours wow. that we were sitting. But then I went to go look over and her, the jackpot was 1200. I think she did win 3,400 yeah. one time, uh, 1800. So I don't know how much she was putting in to get right. out. She didn't look super happy right? and she would get really mad if it was not, but it was kind of, I don't know. It was just a really fun experience. It's entertaining watching people gamble. Yeah. Because they have their little things they do. They tap it. You oh, know, I was they, absolutely hitting the screen. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what's funny is you can tell she was a professional. She goes, you know, I've seen people hit the screen before. I'm going to do it oh too. Oh, my gosh. I'm like, I know you've always done that, that but so it was so funny. much fun. Oh, we had so much fun. And I think the fun part of me for me was that it was five hours worth of, I basically lose my money in you know, a second. Yeah. I think I even Snapchat everyone. I said, all right, I'm about to lose all yeah. my money in 15 minutes. I actually had money to play for five hours. Now, did I come back with any? I'm no. not going to say, but what did I say? Cash out, cash out, so cash out. I saw that going. Ding, 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 yeah. Ding. Take your bonus spins and cash out. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Hi, Julia. Hi. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> we woke Julia up because well, we were so loud. We're so obnoxious. loud. We're That's so right. loud. Yeah. She's a great napper. And I never know when she's napping because she's so quiet anyways. I love napping. Yeah. Are you a napper? Definitely. So we we went and we grilled out because we were just like, eh, we kind of wanted like, we haven't grilled in a while. So yeah. I went and got some burgers and, and we grilled out. And then she's like, well, if you're going to rest for a little bit before Cass comes, I'm going to go watch Gilmore Girls. So I didn't even <gasps> think that she would be resting. I again. I finished it <laughs> really? finally. Nice. I cried my I, eyes I out at I the too. end. I watched it two years ago and then when I was in school and I'm starting school again in the yeah. fall. And I was like, I'm going to watch it again. Yeah. <laughs> and I still have one episode of the the year in oh, the life yeah. of the Gilmore or whatever that's called. It yeah. was like the four seasons, you know, yeah. fall, winter, spring, Those summer. Are cute too. Yeah. Does it come after? Yeah. The, okay. So you yeah, need it's to like know all that, that before you watch it. Cause you've, yeah. Yeah. Because there's, it's so funny in the beginning, but is, I won't yeah. give any spoilers, but um, when, when Gilmore girls ends, I think Rory is like maybe 23 or yeah. 24 and this, she's like thirty-two. Oh wow! Yeah. So okay, yeah, okay, yeah. You yeah, you got to watch the show before you can watch that. Add-on. I was just at dinner with some work peeps, and we were talking about what we watch. And I said, I really don't watch shows because I know that the end. If I go see a movie, yes. it's an hour and a half or two hours right. worth, and that's yeah. that's perfect for me. Right. I know it's going to end, or maybe like I love all the Batman movies, yeah. So I know that they'll be continued. The yeah. Joker, Poison Ivy, whatever. Yeah. But with a show. 
if I know that it's six seasons and I'm on season six and I know that it ends, yes. sometimes I don't finish it. I, I have not the finished The Sopranos. Thing. I know what happens because I've seen yeah. it on TikTok. Yeah. I have not been able to finish Sopranos and I have not been able to finish Prison Break, which is something that your brother, I'm looking at Julia, yeah. uh, wants me to finish. Yeah. And I'm on season six or whatever the last one is and there's only three episodes left and I cannot finish it because then Why to me do do it's final yeah I want it to still be around I right? literally just said that the other day to my sister because I I have this one episode left like I was okay finishing Gilmore Girls knowing that I still have this little mini series yeah, to watch right. sure and I'm just sitting on the very last episode and she's like don't you want to watch that don't you want to and I was like no because no, I don't want yet. it to end yeah. I don't want it's it so to final end. yeah it's crazy yeah I, it was like that kind of with like sons of anarchy and yeah I don't know what else I, I feel watched, like but... a lot of people dropped off of that show I did yeah, yeah. I did I was yeah. like I only had it's just a, it's the episodes are so long yeah it's kind of somebody hard to put a uh, tiktok up the other day that said what's a show that you were like so um adamant about watching but then fell off and yeah. i said walking dead oh. oh there was a huge and everybody in the comments was like walking dead oh wow and it was like i made it to season 10 i think it's still going and i quit watching it probably seven years ago oh wow, wow. yeah that's a, that's a lot yeah. i wonder if that happens a lot with like Grey's anatomy like all those seasons Grey's anatomy what else? and people said sons of anarchy some people yeah. said sopranos because i think there's like 10 seasons no, of it's, Sopranos, it's, Yeah, it's right? definitely yeah. long. I don't know the number, yeah. but it's definitely long. Yeah, all yeah. the long ones, people are like, I just, like, it was the same thing over and over, or, like, I just lost interest in it, got real boring, whatever, so. Mm -hmm. Or, like, your favorite person dies in the series or something. Dude, that's. Just something like like yeah. Grace, like Grace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah, Walking Dead, too. Oh, okay, they okay. off a lot of good people good in that people, one, so. You just wonder why, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Keeps everybody crying yeah. every week. And, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, What's your favorite show ever? Um, Gilmore Girls is definitely up there. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is I it? Really, that's such a cute show. Yeah. And what about you, Cass? So I've only ever watched and completed three shows. Okay. We've talked about this one a lot, actually, on the podcast, and it's The Good Place. Mm -hmm. That's, like, mm -hmm. one of my top. Um, Ozark. Loved it. Mm -hmm. Loved the ending, which I found it's 50-50. Either people loved it or they hated it. And then Gilmore Girls. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And mine's Prison Break, but that's because that's the only one I've ever watched. Yeah. Really? Well, yeah. when the kids were younger, I used to watch Grey's and ER because they were back oh. to back on Thursday nights. And yeah. I just kind of wanted to watch it. I used to watch ER with my mom when I lived at the house and then yeah. continued it when I moved yeah. here and had Julia. And I just always wanted to watch it on Thursday night. So Steve would, you know, your dad would watch you while I just had my two hours every yeah. Thursday night. That's what I would do is watch those. And then I just, I, I couldn't do it anymore. So when you were a kid, like when I was a kid, my grandma would watch Days of Our Lives. Oh, oh yes, yeah. yes. And so I said to her one time recently, I said, yeah, I remember you, you would be like, all right, you guys take a nap. I'm going to watch my stories, yes. you know? Yes. <laughs> she goes, I can't believe I ever watch it. I go, it's still on, you know? Like, my mom and my aunt always watched all my children. Yes. That was a big one too. Yes. I think my and I remember being younger yeah. in the summer watching it at my aunt's yeah. house. We'd go over there and I'd watch it. And I was kind of into it actually. Yeah. Well, I mean, seven years. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, and this was, what am I, 39? So 30 <laughs> years ago, you know, Erica was in the hospital in a coma. She still is. Yeah, on right? all my children. That you know what I mean? Hilarious. <laughs> right? But really, I mean, we made fun of our grandmas and our aunts and our moms for watching those shows, but we fell right into it too. They with were Grey's Anatomy yes! and ER, yep. 90210, you know, all of those. They just moved those. from daytime to nighttime. Yes. Yeah. Basically, yes. is what happened, right? Yeah. yeah. And like, I think back in the day when. TV was black and white, like you would get Twilight Zone. Like that was like yeah. your weekly watch. You yeah. Know? Yes. Stuff like that. Absolutely. What was that one with the vampire? Um, the what they do in the not what they do in the shadows. That's a new one. Uh they remade Dark Shadows with Dra Johnny Depp. Dracula too. Well, it's not Dracula, it's a vampire family. Oh. And Johnny Depp was in it and it's called Dark Shadows. And oh. that used to be a series like back in the fifties. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. yeah. Wow. With Johnny Depp? Not with Johnny Depp. Oh, <laughs> although a lot of people think he is like, a well, vampire. He looks great. Yeah, yeah, I was like, he looks great for his age. Then yeah. have you seen those pictures where it's like, I've always known 
that there's only seven faces in the world, right? Like you have doppelgangers oh, out definitely. there. Oh, definitely. So have you seen the old pictures? It looks like Matthew McConaughey oh, and absolutely. Johnny Depp. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so creepy Thank how you, much TikTok they for that. look alike. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then you're like, is that just like AI? AI, I wonder, I wonder. You know? And of course I go right to the comments yeah. and if they don't mention AI, then I'm like, oh wow, this is pretty Maybe this is real. Yeah. yeah. Who do you think you look like? Um, That girl from, um, she's all that. She's all that. Wait, she's all that. She's, hold on. Yeah. Where's my phone? I threw it on the floor. The um with um what's his name? Frankie, not Frankie. Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie Prince Jr. Hold on. I know the movie, but I can't think. She's on. She's in she's Hallmark all movies that. too. Okay. What's her name? Le- Lila. What's she's her name? All I can't. That. What's her name? Where's the cast? You think you look like her? A little bit. Someone Rachel, has told you that before. Rachel Lake just... Cook. Yes. yes, I knew it was yes. Lee something or Lake. Rachel yeah. Lake Cook. A little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All okay. right. Let me I can see, see a picture of her. Let me see a picture of her. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. In that picture, for sure, yeah. that you're showing. Yeah. Who's yeah. your doppelganger, Cass? Some homeless person. Is it? <laughs> is it? Is it Morty? And what, what are those homeless people in that? Uh, what what's it? the <laughs> coming to America? He goes and gives them. Uh, <laughs> what's his name? Morty. Oh, God. I'm terrible. Uh, I don't know. Well, I've been told I look like pink. Oh, okay. When you had your hair cut that one short way, and, and absolutely. really blonde, yeah, yes. many many people actually many yes. people have told me that. Yeah, I just wish I had the rocking body and the money, but hey, you know, you, and the talent. First of all, you do have the rocking body. <laughs> nah, not right now, but uh, yeah. You can do. I have her money? Can I get her money? We're manifesting. All her right, money. good, 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 yeah. good. Yeah, a manifest sesh. One day, one day we will have that money. So we money. asked the world, but they haven't answered yet because I was late to asking the world. Oh no. Why have reviews and ratings become one of the biggest trends? Even though I feel like it's always been a trend, but you cannot go to the dentist. You cannot go to the doctor. You can't go get your oil changed. You can't go through the Burger King drive through without someone circling the review QR Take code at the bottom. Yeah. You know, my name is Amanda. Let them know how great I did. Or my name is Joe. Let them know how yeah. great I did. Or my name is, you know, Why? Uh, I have answers, but I'm asking you. I feel like somebody in the company, somebody in the company needs that reassurance that a good job is being Being done. done. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, there's so many people, companies that live off of reviews, right? Mm -hmm. If they're not getting five stars every single time, it's like the end of the world. Sure. And I think that's so, so what's, what word do I want to use? Like, like gross basically, Mm -hmm. because people make mistakes, right? Like people make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. We're all human. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And so why are we so obsessed with just being perfect? 100% of the time. It's not reality. So I'm on the other side because I don't think companies care. I think it's your customers. I think it helps you to be like informed Mm -hmm. on what this company's doing. So it's become this thing where the companies need the reviews, as you mentioned. Yeah. But it's because the first thing we do is go go on Google or we go on Yelp or we go on. And so that's how we make our, we allow, and, and you know, this is another crazy thing. We're allowing other people to basically make the decisions right. for us. Right. Yeah. Does that, right? Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. So I go on and I'm looking at restaurants and I'm kind of a snob because I'm also picky because yeah. I'm also vegetarian. Yeah. So I go and look for four and five stars. Yeah. If something has 3.5 stars, there's, there's a chance I'm not going to go. Which, and that's terrible. Listen. Five stars should only be given for exceptional service, yes, right? Yes. We know that because we've never gotten five stars where we work when we go above and beyond all right, the time. Right, yeah. right, right. And it's like, oh, you've reached all of your goals. You made the company this much money. And you get three stars. Yes. And you nobody get, gets a four and or you five. Get, yeah met expectations right you don't get exceed right you don't get five star exceed top. expectations at a restaurant means they were absolutely phenomenal and they gave me a free meal yeah you know yeah. Like, it's like above and beyond yeah, yeah. always mm-hmm. 
So is that why a lot of us are burnt out? Yeah. Because that's really all about it. And yeah. then, you know, okay, so let's talk about my book real quick. I had 21, uh, I had 19 five-star reviews with words, like with a comment. And then I got a one-star and it immediately brought my percentage down. Yeah. Like very, like, yeah. like Dramatically. As, soon, as soon as I just, you know, one, one day, a couple of weeks ago, I went to go look and I'm like, oh, I could tell that a one star had gone through because it drops. It's so dramatic. Yeah. yeah. And then I got a two star that no one ever commented on. So it's probably someone that I know, like, you know, a, a family member or an ex friend. Somebody was like, <laughs> that fucking story is about me. I'm giving her two stars. <laughs> Hey, the shoe fits. Yeah. The shoe fits. Fuck getting, around and find out. That's what I always say. <laughs> the shoe fits, you're getting two stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it does. It immediately brings it down. And yeah. then just to have that that half a star looking at you that's not filled yeah. is just crazy. So that's that's kind of why I wanted to talk about this too, yeah. because um there was someone that I worked with uh, about a year ago, and they were talking about how their significant other had a podcast. And so I start listening to the podcast. I was like, wow, this is really interesting. But she stopped recording because she got busy with life. So because of that, people were putting in one-star reviews. Oh, Oh, wish this would have continued. Mm -hmm. Changed my five-star to a one-star because you stopped. So when you go on there, her podcast, which I thought was fabulous. I mean, it's not, you know, different. What is it? Different smokes for different folks or different strokes. (laughs) Different smokes for, for different, different folks. folks. That's a that's a good one. Thank I you, like, thank you. Let's stick with that. <laughs> I I mean I liked it, yeah. and, but it she only she was down to like two and a half stars because people were ruining that it. That is gross. Oh, so gross. Okay, going back to TV series, you find one you like. Oh yeah, and you see yeah. it's three seasons long. And it should have been five seasons long, but they lost funding, stopped sure. recording. Whatever. How terrible is that? But honestly, if somebody had a podcast and I really liked it and they only did two seasons, then that's all you get. You know, yep. why are you going to yeah. take stars away from, you know, your I know. lazy ass didn't get up and do a podcast. How right. are you going to judge somebody else for stopping their You know, podcast? and I talk <laughs> about that on our other podcast, yeah. Anxiety, about receiving that one-star review. Like, thank goodness you did not go through what I went through. Yeah. Thank goodness exactly. that yeah. you could not relate. So you were like, this book's about nothing. Yeah. Thank goodness. Yeah. I am actually happy for you. Yeah. And that's kind of how I looked at it. Yeah. I'm glad that you can't relate. So it was a book of nothing. That's so good. It was that's, a Seinfeld yeah. episode really to good. you. Perfect. You know, I was thinking, not to get on Anxiety right now, but I was thinking thinking about shit that like me and my sister have gone through growing up yeah, and it's like, damn. And not that I ever want to make somebody else's experience less because maybe what I think wasn't that bad. Doesn't mean it wasn't bad. Right. You know? yes, like, right, and right. I have a problem with that. I, people will tell me shit they went through when they were kids and I'm thinking, that ain't shit, you know, right. but it was bad for them. It just wasn't as bad in my yeah. opinion as what we went through. Yep. Know? Yep. And it's so hard. It's so hard to listen to somebody else's experience and think that way. Yes. Like that hurt them or made them happy or whatever. And, you know, like not compare it to your own experience. You know, I cannot tell you how angry I was as a young mom when they started the whole gender reveals. Cause when you were born, I'm looking at Julia, you know, she had some complications and stuff. We won't get into that. We'll have to do an anxiety episode yeah. on that. Yeah. Why and, haven't and we the done gen- that yet? And the, This is truly the reason why I hated gender reveals because people were so worried about if they were having a girl and a boy yeah. or a boy. And I was just worried about keeping her alive. Right. Yeah. And that is, right. that's extreme. Right. And I know a lot of parents go through that. Yeah. They have children with complications and yeah. all that. And then the gender reveals came up and I'm like, I hate them. Just be happy your kid is healthy. Right. And I was mad for years, you know. You know, I think it's in Germany, and it's probably other places, too. They don't do a baby shower until the baby's born. Yes, oh, we wow. talked because about this. They That's think it's, interesting. it's bad luck yeah. to oh, celebrate wow. a baby before it's here because you never know what could happen. Oh. And how heartbreaking is that? You have this whole room of stuff, and then you don't come home with a baby. And, you it, know, it, it, oh, that makes it sense. happens. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, just be happy. Be happy yeah. with whatever you have. So another thought on all this trend of reviews and stuff is the social proof that you are a company that is legit, Yeah, that you're a good company, right? Yeah. I would say, especially with online shopping purchasing. and yeah. purchasing, right? Yeah. You're giving yeah. out your credit card or your debit card right. or your eBay, not eBay, 
your uh, Venmo or your, you know, yeah, I was going to say EBT credits. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe. Whatever, whatever you're using to shop, you know, you're giving that out and you kind of need that social proof that right. this company's around. It's not going to rip you off. It's not yeah. going to rip you off. Yeah. Like there was a site that I thought, wow, this is a really good deal. I'm going to grab this swimsuit and I go on to Google reviews immediately because yes. that's what we do, right? Yes. That's what we're, we're talking about. And it was like 1.5 stars. Yeah. Never saw the never material. Got never, it. never got yeah. it, you know, or yeah. never saw the item. All of a sudden, my credit card was charged five hundred dollars at yeah, Jimmy John's. Cash. Yeah, <laughs> that's like the, the good side of reviews, like that. You want to know that. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That is the that is one thing that we do have on our side is reviews that yeah. we yeah. can, you know. But the, a lot of people, I feel like, especially like Yelp. They go and have a bad experience at a restaurant because they're an asshole. Yeah. Oh, 100%. And then they put this bad review up, and it's like, fuck you, you know? Yeah. But then there is also places of business that get a bad Yelp, and they tell the person, you take that down, otherwise this and that. And it's like, mm, if you deserve it. Yeah. You know, fuck I was you. just <laughs> talking to your dad about this because on Amazon, with your books, you cannot respond to comments yeah, on Yelp, on Google, on you can respond to everyone that has said something. Yeah. I, perfect example. I don't know who it was. I'll just say Courtney from Foxhole. Someone commented something about whatever, what was wrong. And the owner, or maybe Kevy or whoever wrote back, you actually didn't get ch- charged for that. You got a free pizza because ah. we, you know, we said thank you for your patience. We're sorry your first pizza came out wrong. We gave you your pizza in the hopes of seeing you next week. Right. Or however, whatever the right. wording is, you can go on their thing and see it. Yeah. I love that they were able to respond because the person might have been lying. Yeah. yeah. You first you charged me double, then my thing people was do wrong. It all and, the time. But really, they gave yeah. them a free pizza. Yep. Stupid. And people are just so dramatic all the time. And so, like for my one star on my book, I would have loved to be able to write that person back and say, I am so happy that you cannot relate to this yeah. book. Exactly. Yeah. You know, sorry that you're so miserable that you had to give give me one star. Yeah. You know? <laughs> sorry, your you're going to be in sucks. my next book. <laughs> yeah, right. We're talking about the one star review today. <laughs> you know what? I'm pulling an Uno card. You get one star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you get a one star for your. Should yeah, what about um, the businesses reviewing the customers? Absolutely. You know? um, that's, uh, what's the, wow. I didn't even take Benadryl last night. I can't <laughs> think of shit. <laughs> Uber. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yes. And when I went to go on, it said, you received another five-star rating. I'm like, yep. okay, yes. cool. Yeah. But I could see that for safety. Yes, definitely. Yeah. I could absolutely oh, yeah. see that for safety. Yeah. You know what? And that's why I never allow anybody else to use my Uber because I'm like, you're not fucking up my five star. Yeah, Can we not even right. talk about it? Because yeah. I puked in that one Uber. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my friend Nick reminds me of that at least twice a oh, year. So shit. like, you know, no more martinis for me. Oh. I have never done that before. At least you learned your lesson. I absolutely learned my no lesson. No martinis and Ubering. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I ran like 25 miles that morning. Sick. So I needed water and yeah. not four martinis. Yeah. Don't they charge extra for that? Absolutely. Yeah. I am certain yeah. that he got charged the extra two fifty or whatever yeah. it was. I feel so bad. Terrible. Oh yeah, it was it was horrible. So I terrible. will never live that down. Um, influence on business reputation. So I think this is very interesting. So and it kind of goes with the social posts, right? But why I find it interesting is because if you look through some reviews, you can almost see a trend of maybe they had a dip in service. Yeah. Like it'll say one year ago and there's five, six, seven reviews of, I don't know what happened here. Are they under new ownership? But then you see the newer reviews that are yeah. a month out yes. or a couple weeks out. And it's like, so happy that they got their shit together. Yes. And then, so yeah. I really like to read through reviews like that. I don't yeah. know if you're a review reader, but I really dig deep into stuff. I do stuff. too. I yeah. love reading reviews. And I love, I, I love that, um, the influence of it, like yeah. how, it, how you can yeah. see that maybe they've grown or whatever. So I love reading reviews because I'll be like, like you're full of shit. That really happened. You're full of shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It's yeah, a pasta yeah. place. How bad could it have right? been? Right. Yeah. Or when their like review is like 20 pages long. You're yeah. Like, Did this really happen? Are, Come you, are you being dramatic? Yeah. Well, and then within that review, they talk about their family life. Like my dog yeah. wouldn't even eat it. Yeah. Or, yeah. Right? <laughs> Yeah. Really? And we've had this dog for 20 years, and it will literally eat shit right out of the cat <laughs> box. But it wouldn't eat your al dente pasta, you know? 
<laughs> they always gonna bring up somebody else to validate their fucking review. I called my friend and she said she that. She said her experience was awful too. <laughs> Very soon people are going to be able to start tagging each other in it. Yeah, like, Karen, what did you think about oh this? Oh my God. Right? Uh, I'm going to try and tag you in don't. something. All right, fine. I won't. You can. So, <laughs> so what about empowerment and engagement because of the algorithm? So I feel like. I don't like, like the algorithm. Yeah. Go ahead. I don't like the algorithm because just because I liked one cat video doesn't mean that's all I want to see. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I yep. like dogs too. I like Mm -hmm. pigs. I like horses. I like cows. I like chickens. Don't only show me cats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's like the most simplistic way to put it, right? Mm -hmm. I want to see everything. I want to see the world Mm -hmm. on my feed. Yep. Yeah. So I watched a video where they smash things. And now every third video is someone getting someone getting smashed. (laughs) Dang girl. I think they call that corn. (laughs) It's a machine smashing crayons. Okay. So wait, you got off a hoof talk and now you're on smash talk? (laughs) No, I'm still on hoof talk. That's funny. The white line defect. And you know what else is where I paused on it or where I where I stopped to watch a whole one is when people use their ice cream. So as you can Stop. see on this white line defect and they're scooping out ice cream. Oh, forget it. It's so funny. Oh, and now that everyone's listening to it, it's going to come up on their it's TikTok. It's so funny. Yeah. That is so what funny. What is your algorithm on? Oh, oh, I'm not on TikTok. She's not on TikTok. I haven't been on TikTok since April. What the hell? Yep. Yeah. Why? It was, it was taking up way too much of my time. I just was sick of it. I can definitely burn some hours yeah. on that. Yeah. I do it For sure. I pretty yeah. much do it four nights a week, I would say. It's you know, usually only about a half an hour. Every Sunday, I say that it tells you like you use your phone more or less this week. And if it says you use your phone 40 minutes less this week, I'm like, how? (laughs) How? And it was like, oh, because I had to do a reset and it was sitting in my purse because I use my phone for work too. So I'm literally on it 24 7. I'm like, if I could just plug that shit into my butt (laughs) and just walk around and have it charged 100%, you know? Yeah. I, it, yeah, I'm on it so much. And I'm like, how did I, oh, I fell asleep at four o'clock. Yeah. That, that's oh, where that yeah, left that, that 40 day. minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I took a nap. Mine, I don't know when you hit 100%, but every week over week, mine's like, you were up 44%. You were up 55. I'm like, when do you cap that out? Yeah. Like, yeah. Why, why does it just keep increasing? It just keeps going. <laughs> and now that Trust I have me, it keeps all going. the pages and, you know, I feel like yeah. I go from work computer to our business computer yeah. to my phone. Luckily, yeah. I don't have a work phone. It's yeah. all on one phone, but I have three yeah. things that I just kind of switch around and rotate. But It's wild, yeah. yeah. So how about influence on social media? And this will be the last one, is how one bad review or something that a company does, and I'm going to share this example with with your dad's company of what happened to us in 2020. Oh yeah. gosh. Right. Do you remember this? Talk about I that. know yeah. I talked about yeah. this, but talk about it. And so I want to talk about the influence of social media because and how one rumor. I want you to talk about that. And then I'm going to bring something. Yes. Up. So what happened was, and I think we've already discussed it, but it was probably 50 episodes yeah. ago in 2020, someone that owned JP interiors, just like your dad, but it was in Texas ran over a bunch of protesters with yeah. their vehicle. And it was yeah. a female owner and everyone immediately went online because they knew who the, the owner was and what she owned and checked out JP Interiors. And our social media was very strong. So yeah. it was the first one that came up. Yeah. And everyone started reviewing and rating and doing, ha- you know, Laffy on all of our, we put our employees first and happy birthday to Dan and happy, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. And all of a sudden I went on Facebook, not realizing this was happening. And I was like, Why do I have 99 notifications? It wouldn't go any higher, right? It only ever showed you the 99. And it was people ruining our Facebook page for your dad's company. And they found our number on Google and they were calling our office phone. And actually someone very, very nice left a message and said, I know it's not you because I'm calling Illinois, but watch your news and you might want to get off of social media and shut your phone off for a while because you're being attacked. Someone, so, no one that we knew, so crazy. no one that we knew. And so we're listening and, and you know, Steve calls me downstairs. He's like, listen to this. And we're replaying it. And it's we're like, replaying I'm going to murder it. your ass. It actually was a very nice person that said, I looked up your area code. I know that you're from Illinois. You're not from Texas. So you're not who I'm calling 
Yeah. Just, he goes, but you're going to get, and we did. Yep. We got calls. We got our, I had to take the social media page down. I cannot restart it because of everything. That, so we, I did post and say, we just want everyone to know we are not the JP interiors in Texas in the news right now. So yeah. everyone was like, oh, I, I mean, hundreds of comments. Thank you so much for letting us know that this isn't you. It was already ruined. Yeah. And it happened within an hour. Yeah. And that was it. So we had to take it down. We, so I would have crazy. to build a whole new page yeah. and that would still make us nervous. So we never have. Right. And thank goodness no one did anything on Google reviews because we, I mean, we, we, Steve receives a lot of customers through Google because of the reviews. We have some really nice reviews on there. Yeah. And thank goodness that didn't get attacked. It was more of our Facebook yeah. at the time in yeah. 2020. Well, that's because, yeah, at that time, everybody just went to social media, not right. actual right. Google Online. page or right. go to your business page. Right. You know? And, you know, so fortunately for that, we were able to keep that or we would have had to start a new page on there too. But it was very scary. That was the year that we got cameras around the whole house. Yes. You know, and- you got to do other things to protect God, yourself. God, I remember being so worried about you guys. Like it was so bad. It was, really it was yeah. so bad. Yep. So I want to talk about the opposite effect. Yes. Which, if you're on TikTok, then you know who Keith Lee is, right? Yes. And he's yes. he is. Yes. A, I think he's a a, a middleweight boxer. Is or he? Oh maybe wow. A wow! MMA wow, wow. fighter, or something like that. Yeah. I could be totally Along wrong with, on that. Uh, food critic so he wow. just started doing food reviews and they were getting really popular right so like that's like what he does now and he's been in chicago lately yes he was and this is the exact opposite you get somebody that has a strong following mm-hmm. that comes to your business and gives it a good review you better staff up yep yeah. and they had to like, so had to. many people like how dave portnoy does like the pizzas yes yes yeah. absolutely i don't like him though. i don't even why not I'm a, I'm a fan he... of i'm a fan of keith lee I like Dave Portnoy. He got Miss Peaches. He rescued the pit bull. <laughs> he what? um reviewed one of our favorite restaurants and like like lied to the kid that was working in the video. Stop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What did yeah. he? What I and wait, you can I need make more or break details a company. about you really this. Can. Well, you know, it was really funny. Like my favorite from Barstool Sports or whatever. One everybody knows the rules. One bite, you know. Yeah. He was on this back deck reviewing a pizza and he's like shit this pizza's cold like it's terrible you know he like just got a slice and this young I'm gonna say kid because he was probably maybe 25 or younger uh you have uh are you allowed to record out here on my porch you know my back deck and he's like what are you talking about like it's pizza review whatever and these guys over here are going barstool sports you know and he's like yeah you can you can just leave and he's like that's fine because your pizza's fucking ice cold like this is disgusting he like spits it out you know and he's like big mistake oh yeah that kid got fucking fired immediately oh, I bet. like you tell dave portnoy that oh you're <laughs> fucked dude no clue what he just did yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. that's why sometimes it pays to be on social media and yeah. know who these people sure, are sure that's keith lee too yep a lot of people know what his wife looks like she usually goes in and gets the food were they in Georgia? Was it Georgia or Atlanta? Where were they? I think they were in Atlanta and they got, everybody's like, I don't know what it is with the restaurants in Atlanta. Everybody's so fucking rude. And they were rude. They were rude to his wife. And then he walked in and they were like, oh, we can seat you right now. And he's like, you can go fuck yourself. Wow. You know what I mean? Like you just turned my wife away, told her it was going to be a three hour wait. I was just talking to people in the parking lot that have been waiting for an hour for a table and you're going to offer me a table because of who I am. Fuck you. Wow. Oh, you fucked up now. That place is probably closed. Yeah. I don't no even remember kidding. where it was, but it's closed now. I mean, is he is he up to billions of followers yet or what? I'm Cause... sure, you know. <laughs> it's like 37 point a million. million. Yeah. yeah, on all of his videos. You can make or break somebody. Yeah. But yeah, I was glad he was recently, or he's recently been in Chicago. Mm-hmm. So there's just places blowing up in the city, yeah. you know. Oh, sure. Which so just good. shows you how great food is yeah. in Chicago. Well, yeah. and then he went back to a place where he went there and blew her place up. She opened two more locations. Oh my God. And he goes, I'm going to review it again because I want to see if the food has changed. And he's like, fucking delicious <laughs> you know so it's like that's so cool not only did they open two other locations but they're keeping the quality of their food Good. you wow. know so yeah what a cool thing amazing yeah. so yeah. it can make or break you let's it all can. hope it makes us you yep. know yep yeah. 
So while we're here, go review and give us five stars, everybody. <laughs> Anywhere. Come on our show. <laughs> yeah. You know who I would really like to interview? Our mayor. I know. You I say that all the time. It. I keep saying it. Maybe one of these times he'll listen and he'll come join us. Well, you know what? I know people at the chamber listen. <laughs> Why don't you make it happen? Uh, Jess from Peaceful Project opened this past oh, week. Oh, yay. Good. Yay. yay. Speaking of chamber, because Amy was here too. Yes. So. Yeah. Yes. So what else is up with you? What are you up to in the next few oh, weeks? Geez. Going to Alaska. At the <gasps> yeah, what? she is. Yeah. yeah, she is. Where are you flying to to port out of? Uh, how, I don't know how you say that. Yeah, I think it's Anchorage. Anchorage. Okay. You have to fly to Anchorage? I think, I think, yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. wow. Wow. Where's yeah. your travel agent? Is he working right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, isn't his mom a travel agent? Yes. So she does is. she help you out with it, right? Yeah, yeah that's cool. She absolutely just yeah. helped us out with Italy, too. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm so excited. What the hell am I going to do without you here? Huh, for three weeks. For, yeah, like 20 days. You <sighs> need to come with. Just talk Johnny into it. There is still room. It ain't happening. We have a travel it's agent. Happening. She's amazing. First of all, I'm not a big cruise person. No. I'm sorry. It's most I know. of the time we're going to be on I land. I know. I know. We fly into Rome. I don't like it. I don't like the thought of cruising. I'm fine with traveling and flying to a place and maybe even flying to another place, I but know. I do not like the thought we still of have being to go on to the Fiji. water. We still have to go to Fiji. Yeah. We yeah. talked about that last yeah. year. Or has yeah. it been two years already? Yeah. We definitely need to do that. You know what we need Fiji to do? Cruise. I mean, I know you don't like cruises, but they do. I we know. were talking about like, we need to take like 11 days, right? Because we, we have, have like two or three days of travel total. And yeah. it's like, nah, let's just go for like seven. Yeah. And fuck it. So we'll only be there for like four days. You right. know, that's, like, that's it'll plenty. still be worth that's it. Plenty. It'll yeah. still be worth yeah, it. Definitely. Yeah. So what else? Hmm. Starting school. Starting like, school. Yay. What are you going to do? We're so marketing. proud of you. Marketing. Yeah. Uh, what amazing. kind of um, marketing do you want to do? Um, I'm kind of undecided on that yet. Sure. I've been looking into like film marketing or just because my brother's in the film industry. So. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's exciting. Cool you know what? This him. brings yeah, me back cool. to when we said you have the best kids ever. Yep. And they argue. Well, we argue over which one's the best. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, because they're both so good. It's always undecided because. I know, but I know it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Steven. She's here. I'm You're kidding. not. You can't I'm defend yourself. <laughs> when he comes home in a couple of weeks, people have to interview him and see yeah. what he says. That's Absolutely. Funny. We do yeah. need to get him on. Yeah. yeah. We mm-hmm. need to talk about what he's been doing. Absolutely. I know he's going to have some good stories. I follow him on Snapchat, so yeah. Yeah. I know he's got good stories. Yeah, fun. Yeah, good. fun. He just got back from Nashville. He was at uh, Karate Combat. He was at Karate Combat. That was cool. We are the Karate Combat family. We, uh, yes, we are. We were watching it <laughs> on a random <laughs> Sunday. We did. On a Sunday night, was it? No, Thursday night. Thursday, on a random yeah. Thursday night, we were watching everything. I'm like, I don't know anything about this, but we're watching it. Doesn't matter. We're going to watch people kick each other's ass. Oh you know God. what was Please. really cool is you were Please at swallow. Timmy's watching it. We were here watching it. Steven obviously was in Nashville making sure that the fighters were good. Yep. So we would watch it on the TV, but then we would get a Snapchat from him oh, and it'd be the background cool. of it. Yep. You know, so it was cool. just really that cool. That is so cool. It was such a uh, an experience because here we're watching what everyone else is watching, but then we also get the background yeah. of it. That was That's neat. like being friends with like musical people on yes. social media. Yes. And it's like, I was at that show and there they are at that show. Yeah. And can I see myself in the crowd? No, because there's 4 million people. Because I always get lawn yeah, tickets. Yeah. We're GA over here. General admission. Uh, so when do you go to Seattle for hiking? Is that uh, in the next that, few weeks too? That's after our cruise. So Okay, oh. so it's Alaska, then it's hiking, mm-hmm. then take a break during the holidays, and then yeah. plan on Italy maybe? Or there's Definitely. something in between there? Uh, yeah. We're probably going to like camp or something. Yeah. Yeah. Between. They just got done with camping oh, too. They have, a, they yeah. have such a great time together. I miss they camping. are little world travelers. Mm-hmm. You know, we got the cabin, so we don't go camping too much anymore. Although I will tell you, so we have a lot of people coming up to the camp, uh, the cabin, and we have a lot of room at the cabin yeah, too, you, yeah. right? And we have Johnny's one nephew is a family of seven. So they usually oh, wow. bring their RV, right? So they can kind of, but those kids are like getting bigger now. They're going to need their own space soon. I had a nightmare the other night. That there was so many people at the cabin, and I was going, I don't know where you're all going to sleep. Oh my God. I don't know where. Even though we've had 
30 people up at the cabin and we've made it work. Right. Like, right. So why are you worried about it now? Sleeping on the floor, sleeping on couches. We got a little cot over here. We got a fold away cot in that closet over there. Like we will make the room, bring your tent, whatever you got to do. It's meant for that. It right? is. Yeah. And I was having a nightmare and I had anxiety mm. and I felt so bad. Like I don't have enough room for you all. I don't know where I'm going to put you for bed. <laughs> That's so funny. The kids literally don't care. They will sleep on the floor. Five out of five stars. Everyone can sleep yeah. there. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, good. So have you had any bad reviews? Um, the place I work at gets one every once in a while. Really? And, um, yeah. Oh. The, the one bad review, I was there and I, I remember like, you know, greeting. How the, it felt. Yep, greeting the customer. And then she said that we didn't. So that was like, ah. I don't know about that. Oh, darn it. Yeah. How about you? And you want to be like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard not to have the login to say something. Um, yeah. I always talk about this. I will forever talk about this. I had a rude customer at the store. And she was like, I'm going to call the manager. I said, have a great day. And she called and she talked to me about me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and I was like, that is unacceptable. She will be terminated immediately. <laughs> Bye, bitch. That's hilarious. <laughs> I used to get, can I, you know, speak to your manager or whatever? And I would listen. They would say, no, I need you to go over there and tell them, you know? So I'd walk over and I'd be like, hey, somebody complained about you. Can you just smile every <laughs> once in a while? <laughs> or like on one of your last days working at the one place that you worked at, someone said, can I speak to the manager? And you did a U-turn. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Spin around. Hello. Hello. Spin around. I am Hello, the manager. <laughs> I was a little bit sassy my last few days. You're like, good thing you've been talking to her the whole time. <laughs> and guess what? She's going to tell you the same thing. <laughs> She's going to tell you, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> Retail makes thick skin. Let oh, me tell yeah, you. Let me tell sure. you. Yeah. I think since you've been doing things, you've come out of a shell a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. she was maybe a little bit of an introvert, quieter. Now she just speaks her mind. And, yeah. You know, she just. How and, old are you now, Julia? 24. 24. Yeah. So. You were what twelve when I met you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and she yeah. was quiet, right? Yeah. I yeah. feel that yeah. you were quiet. You're you're more of an observer. Yeah, but she definitely has some things to say now. Yeah. And she stands her ground. Man. I love it. I will She's get random smart. Snapchats from her, and she'll be like, "This fucking bitch," <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Yes, people do tell not, it to her face." <laughs> people do not make me cry anymore. It's yes. like, no, no, no way. good. Yeah. Life's way too short. Them. It is, them. Oh, life is way too short. You know what? Something somebody told me a long time ago, and I know it's common, but when you really think about it and you put your life experience to it, it makes so much sense. Misery loves company. It's so true. It is so fucking true. Mm -hmm. Do not give them the time of day. No, no. They're looking for someone else to be miserable with and it's not you. know, and the person that told me that was pretty fucking miserable and I was like, that makes sense. (laughs) Makes sense. sense. How how about the people (laughs) that every post is negative and then they want to put something inspirational on there? Are you serious right now? They're like, I hate my life. This is so bad. I need help. I can't pay my bills. And it's like, if you just go deep into yourself, you can find the strength to make it work. (laughs) You find the strength to pay your bills. <laughs> get a job. Yeah. Oh, just get a job. Step one. <laughs> Steve always likes that saying where it's the, the, the moms or the dads getting the kids ready and they're like, fucking sit down, blah, blah, blah. And then on social media, they go, my whole world. I love these children. I don't know what I would do, do without, without them. them. But you know, the background wasn't they were, were like, yelling at them, smacking you'd be them on around. vacation. No. That's what you would do without them. You'd be you'd on, be on vacation. vacation. Yeah. yeah. You would not be stressing yeah. or having to find a whole bunch of matching outfits. I haven't had many people tell me, but just a few like, aren't, don't you think you're going to regret not having kids? Mm. No. 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 I am 40-something years old. I will never regret not having kids. Right. That's just something you didn't want to do. I get to enjoy everybody else's kids, first of all. Yeah. Like, I get to buy them gifts and take them places, and I've always spoiled my nephews. All my friends' kids. I've always tried to spoil my friends' kids, you know? And it's like, you get the best of both worlds. You get to hang out with kids and, like, enjoy their young love for life and be like, I remember when I just didn't know any better, you know? Yeah. and then you get to not have to deal with the them throwing up on you, which my nephew did do one time, but <laughs> like as a kid, not yeah, just sure, a baby sure, sure, sure. spitting up, you know? But yeah, you get, you know, it's like the best thing in the world. Well, and you don't have to explain yourself either. It was your yeah. choice. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, well. you decided and that was it. Yeah. Just like different things. 
like and any other thing that any you know breastfeeding thing. or whatever yeah. you know yeah. don't even get me started with that stop judging <laughs> people stop judging judge judy's somebody uh said the other day if you take birth control you're pro choice and i was like fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know what i just made myself laugh inside cuz i said judge judy and that's what this whole episode is about <laughs> is judging <laughs> judging and giving stars <laughs> um and you know, I don't. I just did get a little bit into politics by saying that, but I'm gonna get a little more <laughs> if right. you. And I, I don't. I'm not saying either way, but if you have heard the interview with Judge Joe Brown, no, mm, oh, no. Fuck. I will now because my phone is here. Yeah, so right. I'll get on my YouTube. <laughs> and I, whether whoever you're voting for, that shit is funny. Where <laughs> <laughs> TikTok? Go to TikTok. Anywhere. Anywhere. I think you can Google it. I think you okay. probably. It's on YouTube. Is all right. Recent? We'll go check it out. It's recent. Yeah. 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 All right. We'll yeah. check it out. Yeah. Well, thanks, everybody. All right. And see thanks, ya. Julia. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thank We're you. so happy for Sorry, you. Sorry, we woke you up. No, <laughs> We're proud of you and Steven. We Yay. love you. More kids I can love and not have to give birth to. <laughs> Five stars. Go give us some. Yay. Bye. Bye. Talk to you next week.